Let's see if we can get a little bit further out too. Enjoying this in a tulip class, as is usually the case for an IPA. Let's listen to the crack. Very nice. Of course, um, currently Sierra Nevada has released a uh, year-long release of the Torpedo, which I, I think is a uh, very close cousin of the Celebration Ale. So I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with Celebration in the future, but um, right now the Sierra Nevada is, is widely available, and so waiting for Celebration is not as much of an issue. Let's do a pour. Very clear, light amber, almost yellow pour. almost a copper body let's let that rest for just a second I would say that that's between amber and copper as a body color it is brilliantly clear the head is holding on so far, certainly not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and get a full shot of that. Beautiful. The head is starting to break down just a little bit. It's still holding on. That body is very nice. Transparent. Let's see if we can get a shot of the body through the light. Look at that. That is very nice. actively carbonated pretty sticky lace that is a very nice looking beer well we're at four minutes and didn't even start tasting yet let me see if I can uh, get the rest of that body in there. So, that's funny. On second pour, that's very cloudy. Um, 
that aroma is that classic IPA aroma where we smell pine and nut, caramel, citrus, grapefruit, forest, pine. The hops are about earth and resin, citrus, herbal. That aroma is very nice. I would say that the aroma is very sweet with a sharp finish and very nice. Let's give it a taste. The intensity is is uh, fairly medium. It doesn't it certainly doesn't whack you over the head, but it's uh, certainly bitter. Uh, the balance is more about bitterness than about sweetness. And the impression is very nice. I would love to pair this with a nice uh, chicken steak. Or um, I actually had some Thai earlier. This would go really well with. The taste is toasty. Uh, nuts. Definitely floral. Spices. Uh, herbs. I taste coriander, uh, curry effects, definitely resinous. Uh, there's a lot of tar in this, and certainly citrus. I mean, there's a strong presence of grapefruit flavors. The mouthfeel is drying. somewhat creamy at first but then quickly drying the body is medium to full carbonation is uh, fairly lively not visually lively but uh, definitely taste wise lively um, the finish is longer the intensity uh, intensity is fairly strong and the uh, finishes balance is mostly bitter. There is not a lot of sweetness in this brew. I would say that the craftsmanship is excellent, very well crafted, especially for what for such a, a widespread brew. It's very fresh, and I liked it quite a bit. Sierra Nevada. Uh, with their Celebration Ale, I think, proved a test case for a widely available IPA that could really be very bitter and be loved by the public. I think that uh, Celebration led to the availability of Torpedo, which is much more about bitterness than even this. And... Um, I think that th this has much more of a syrupy flavor, uh, though not very sweet at all, but definitely that mouthfeel uh, indicates syrupiness. Um, but thanks to the success of Torp uh, the success of Celebration Ale, uh, we can have things like Torpedo now. So I hope Sierra Nevada continues in their quest and uh, allows us to have many more great brews. Thanks.